afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm your host, Gospel Mello. I'd like to welcome y'all to Gospel on Demand. I have two guests this afternoon. <laughs> y'all gonna introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Kevin. <laughs> Kevin the Prince on here today. Yeah, I'm on here co hosting with Gospel Mello today. Yeah, it's Fred. 40th Street Fred. <laughs> Fred. That's all. Forty Street Fred, right? <laughs> Forty Street Fred in the building today, y'all. Know about me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, on this show, you know, it's we just keep it real on this show and try to enlighten y'all with some positivity and everything positive that's going on. Share community events and just try to build a kingdom. <laughs> we got Kevin the Prince on here. We got Kevin the Prince, yeah. I've been trying to get on the show for a minute, so he fi he finally let me on here. And no matter, we got our winner gear on, it's kind of <laughs> kind of chip, but Yeah, on. I got I got the you you, you, you said yeah. you said winners My, gear cuz uh, I got a Cowboys hat on. You yeah, said winners yeah, gear. Yeah, I said no, winter. No, I said winter and winters at the oh, same. Okay. Winter. At the Shout same out. blank time. <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. Shout out to everybody, Cowboys fan. <laughs> we're going we gonna, we gonna to do a little something. We rock the stars in the blue at the same day on time. We're going to do a little bit I'm, tonight. Eight thirty, even though they try to set us up with a uh, primetime game at FedEx with 50 million people, but we're going to come to play. Hold on. What's your team? I'm with my father. I'm a 49ers fan. Oh, okay. oh so he good. Fred. I thought you were about to say 40th Street Fred. 40th Street Fred. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna get a little I'm we gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna host this thing today, give Mellow a break today. So we're gonna interview Mellow first. So <laughs> Mellow, so tell the people a little bit about yourself and how you came up with the name Gospel Mellow and and tell tell us your story. Give us give us a little background on who Gospel Gospel Mellow is. <laughs> Well, before I was saved, my rap name was Lord Mello. And I actually um, quit rapping when I started going to church. I gave up on rapping. But then it dawned on me. I said, I want to just keep on using my gift right. from God. You know, through God, he gave me this gift. Right. And it only began better, but that's another story. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I was trying to come up with a name. No, Mello isn't my real name, but that's my entertainment name. That's my name that people have been calling me since eighth grade. Mello. That's right. <laughs> so I just said, forget it. I'm gonna do gospel music. Just call me Gospel Mello. It could be, it could be, you know, gospel melody, gospel mood, gospel, you know, just good news, mellow. It's, it just means a couple things all okay, at once. So, so, so how was the um? Tell us about the transition from being a rap, being a regular a street rapper, hood rapper. Because I remember when you first came to the church and you was the street. They told me <laughs> you was a regular rapper. And my thing, I said, let me go check him out and see. Cause they was like, oh, he trans, he he transferred this and, and you know it's 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 easy for somebody who really wasn't doing nothing in the rap game to transfer their skills over to gospel. Yeah. But I did nice. my res I did my research on you. You you was hot. You was you you was in Atlanta. You you had videos. You the girls, the cars, the clothes. There, I was like, hold on, like that's when that. And then I remember like yesterday, I was like, man. And I told you, I said, man, I respect you move because that's hard. Yeah. Man, it's easy for. I think it's more easier. I'm gonna say that for somebody who come and really not, they really didn't take off in it, so they like they switched the game up. But yeah. you you had to go. You was yeah. You was, I was, you was almost was, dead. You was almost dead. Because they did what was that long? Um, 2011, actually, I received um, a record deal that was a single distribution deal through Bongalo and Universal Records. At okay. the time, I was promoting my song Auto Pilot with um, Rich Kids Charlie from Grand Hustle. And actually, I um, flew all the way to California to get that deal. So I was really about to kick off, but then something happened in my life that made me, you know, Get rid of all that stuff. Everything I, everything I worked hard for, I gave it up for God. 
That's 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 I, the I, true. I, that's I, I just said forget. I do I do my whole history in the trash for him. And and like I said, man, before <laughs> I man, that's that's I look up to you for that, man. Cause like it's hard, like cause you know with my transition, I came from go go. Yeah. I came from, I hit the bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> but I came from go go. So and I had and I was just talking to my man Rick Ross, the go go boss, uh, last night we was talking. I was just we was just reminiscing on all the old days and you know what I'm saying, and you know, Big G, I, I get love from all of them. I had I had a little bit I had a little name for myself. You know, I had a little yeah. name for myself, I had a little bit of fame, a little bit of going on. So I'm like with me it was it was hard for me. I couldn't just throw it all the way. It took me some time. And that's why I was like, and I looked at you and you threw it just like, oh, it was like, not, I know when the overnight process for you, but you just like, seemed like you threw it all. It took me, it took me a year or two. And it, to be honest, if we can tell the truth, this is my, what, third year giving my life, rededicating my life back to Christ. And I still got some issues with, with that situation. But I just said, man, I, I commend you on that, man, because that's, that's, like you said, it's not. It's not easy to do, but you just did it and... I had to. Yeah, and it, it, it was yeah. like a life or death type of situation. Like, you're going to jump or I'm going to push you. I just went on jump. <laughs> so that's how I put it. So, so, like, what advice would you give somebody who's trying to make that transition, who, who's trying to make because the big the big key I see now today is people don't want to... People don't want to hear what their friends got to say or they, I mean they don't want to face their friends and because I get a lot of when I change my life over a lot of people hit me in the inbox saying uh I want to do what you do but all oh, my friends this yeah, and my yeah, friends yeah. that so I, how what advice would you give them people I'm just saying follow your heart <laughs> and make sure your heart is full of God so basically follow him like Whatever you're doing, man, put that stuff to the side. I, I, I could like almost guarantee that God has something better for you. So amen, let's go amen, with him. Amen, amen. That's all I can say. So we gonna get. Uh, like, I'm taking if anybody if anybody uh, listening out there that I send it out to, you can tweet me or Facebook me if you got any questions for uh, Gospel Mello on his. On his transition, what he did, and so how is the yeah? I got a question for how is the how is the gospel rap game is treating you? How is that treating you compared to like how how is the gospel rap game? Changing? For real, to be honest, it's it's harder out here being a Christian rapper because like I went from performing three to five times a week. To perform in whenever a church let me. True. So like I had a burning feeling in my heart. Like I want to perform. Like that's what I love doing. I'm like it's eating me alive. Like I can't perform when I want to. I need to perform. I want to perform every day if I could. Right. But like 2012, I only performed. I'm gonna guess five times. Oh man. Five times. My I think it was probably four times. I done performed four times this year, and two of them was in January. I didn't perform from January, I think, hold on, did we do something in February? Wait, go up. Yeah, we did something in February. That yeah, was February. Yeah, we did something yeah, in February. Yeah, but that wasn't really that. my performance. Yeah. I just kind of like jumped up there. Kind of because yeah. you said you're gonna come up here. I said, You're gonna do say, I see, I that's what I do. I just spread yeah. love. That's just what that's just what it's I did. Right you know what I'm saying? I spread love. But my yeah. thing is, man, like I said, it just, it's hard out here. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand, it's not man. Easy. I understand. So, we got 40th Street Fred in the building, you know, yeah. like, like, like Melo said from the <laughs> top of the hour, we uh, we based gospel, gospel radio show, but. And we we still a lot of transparency on here. We yeah, keep yeah. it real, so so we don't do no cursing or anything like uh, that. But right, you, but no we just cussing. keep it. We just keep it. We just keep it real. So 40th Street Fred. What? So uh, tell us a little bit. Tell tell the people out there a little bit about your story and how uh, how old are you, Fred? And your mellow. How old are you too? You can get twenty four. Twenty four. And uh, I'm twenty. Fred for Fred twenty. So tell us about um, what, what school you go to, Fred, and uh, you know what I'm saying. And stuff I like graduated. That. 
Congratulations. Uh, last summer. Last summer. Okay. Okay. So. So tell us a little. Tell us a little bit. Tell the people. Tell us that's out there a little bit about yourself. I uh, I'm Fred. You as you know. Fred. Man, Fred. Oh, oh. Tell, oh, tell you a rapper. Yeah, I rap. On, yeah. I'm an artist. I like to write. You know, I I, I enjoy doing that. I'm a rapper. What I'm type always, of rapper. A street rapper. Okay. I'm a street rapper. I I like to stay low key though. Oh man. I don't be exposing all my stuff over the track. You know what I'm saying? I stay low key. But uh twenty nice nice good looking young man. <laughs> oh yeah. Fred try to get low. Fred, this this, this, this oh. ain't this ain't in harmony, Fred. Fred try to get low. Fred try to get him. He try to get him some some more followers on Christian. Twitter. Then, like, I'm the Fred, like, look, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm Fred. This ain't ChristianMingles.com. Yeah, I know you're Christian. What you, you, you want to know? You got to ask me questions. Hey, Fred, I, look, Fred, you, man, you know I'm Fred. You know what I'm saying? So, Fred, I try to answer. So. My man looking for a job. He been looking oh, yeah. for a job since the summertime. Yeah, I am looking for a summertime job. Summertime rough been for But I've been filling out applications. You've been filling out applications. Yeah. So, my thing, all right, so we're going to head it out. We're going to head it out to people. Like, I got, uh... My my Twitter a little bit, Facebook a little bit, buzzing a little bit right now, and all the show. So, I mean, if anybody out there that know he help anybody hiring or anything for uh, Fred, I'm saying look out, we gotta look out for each other. This no one, records, n- n- congratulations, nothing. No, nothing. That's that's good. I mean, that's, he clean. That's good. That's good to say. Cause look, I can be honest, at 18, I wasn't. I mean, at 20, I wasn't able to say I ain't had no records. I wasn't able to do that. You know what I'm saying? So. He can do that, and if he graduated high school, so one thing you can't say, you can't judge a book by its cover, man. You nope. can't when you look at Fred. Some people may look at him outside and think, and look at and look at me. I got on a uh, dress shirt and a vest, and he got on a regular t-shirt and a scully on his head, and they probably say, oh, yeah, he the one with the charges. Yep, right. You know and he ain't got no charges, and I'm Clean. the one sitting, I'm the one sitting <laughs> here with the charges. So that tell you right here, you can't yeah. judge, you can't judge a book by its cover, man. And like you gotta help, and I think like this, God put it like this. He want everybody to look out for each other. Yeah. So if I help you out, you're taking care. Of. You help Fred out, he take it. He take it. I'm taking care. Of. If everybody you look out for somebody else, but if, if I say okay, I'm gonna take care of Fred, and you say okay, nah, I'm taking care of myself. Yeah. Now Fred's not taking care. Yeah. So so that's that's why I be trying to stress the fact that. The people, but we are gonna get back on Fred and like, ask Fred a little bit, couple of questions. So what high school you went to, Fred? Uh, at first I was at Anacostia, then I got transferred, I went to school out VA, so I still ain't, I graduated from an academy, Okay. be okay. honest with you. I went to, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I went to uh, Blue Knights, you know what I'm saying? I went to Blue, graduated from Blue, Blue Knights, Southeast, <laughs> with anybody listening, y'all know how we do it, Blue uh. Gold, biggest band in the land, Blue. But yeah, so tell, tell me a little bit about your, like, the stuff you experienced in high school. And then I'm going to tell you, then I'm going to ask Melo stuff he experienced in high school. Because Melo, you said how old you was again? 24. He's 24, I'm 25, Fred 20. So we got like the same generations, but it's a little bit separate a little bit. Because I grad, like, when I finished high school. I finished. He, he finished and, and Fred was just going in too. So, <laughs> yeah. so we got a little bit. I'm going to tell you, I start off with myself. And... I went to Sula High School in my ninth grade year, and we had 45 minute classes, and I just got, the girls just got me. I was just, uh, I seen so by the time I walked around and chased all the girls, it was 20 minutes left in the class, so I ain't, I ain't want to go. So after that, I trans, and I was, and coming out, going into high school, I was, uh, I was uh, like a superstar playing boys and girls club football, so I had a lot of high schools asking me to go to their school, and and then I look back and I see how God orchestrated everything. I ended up going to Sula and didn't play that year in high school. I played, I was still playing Boys and Girls Club. Went to, um, transferred to, actually, I got transferred to Baloo. I got put out Sula my last day of that going to school. But my mother, see, God worked good because my mother was transferring me anyway. She called my, uh, my pastor, that's my pastor now, he was the football coach. My pops, he came to, he came to my door, knocking on the door. My mother's like, "You going to Blue?" I'm like, "I'm not." I bet it's crazy because I live right down the street from Blue, yeah. and I knew people that went there. And I'm like, "I'm not going to Blue. I want to go to Blue. I want to go to Sula." Right. So 
He knocked on the door, pastor. You know what I'm saying? I was 14, 15 years, 15 years old, he knocked on the door. And yeah, yeah, everybody don't know, Pastor had the shades on, he had the dreads, he had the headband on. What? He had the headband on his head. I remember like yesterday, he had the shades on, had the cut off sleeve shirt, shirt on, some shorts. He walked my door, knocked on. My mother then already called him, then told him I could play football. I told him I had MVP trophies and she wake me up. Oh, your coach, the coach might have been the door from blue. I'm like, what? He knocked the door, yeah. What is Kevin here? Like I am Kevin. I was like I was like three eleven back then. Yeah, you your mother told me you playing football and this and this and that and and yeah, uh, how you uh can you coach she you know, he said, Can you hit? I looked at him, I said, Can you coach? <laughs> I said, I can play. <laughs> so then long story short, that's how I I got the balloon. My best friend got killed inside the school. Best one of my best friends that we had like three football players that got killed as I went to Blue from 10th grade to 11th grade from 03 to 05. So that was my high school. My high school experience was really, I was in a lot of stuff, man, and, and a lot of, and a lot of unnecessary drama, and that really that built most of my character today. I can say my high school, my high school experience I had with losing, because I never really since '96 my mom aunt died in 96 and since then I never had nobody close to me to die so losing my best friend I died he died at 10 17 10 20 they said I talked to him probably about like 10 13 and his last words with me I was I see you tomorrow his last words so it was like a lot of tough stuff like not a lot of neighborhood beefs and a lot of jealousy a lot of hate when I was in high school it just like it was a lot of that that was my that was my high school experience from from 03 to 05. Yeah. So, Fred, what did, did you, what, what type of stuff you experienced when you was in high school? <clears throat> high school, well, I experienced a lot of emotional problems in high school. You know, I was going through a rack of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was on medication, you know. Um, so I was just like losing it a little bit, but I'm regaining myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So, I, my high school, I was going to Anacostia. You know, it was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of fights. Yeah. You know, uh, I ain't really had too many females on my back. I wasn't that really of a ladies man in high school. Okay, okay, okay. I was just trying to get in and get out. Okay. I had, yeah, I already messed up in junior high school. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I already trying to get in, get out. You know what I'm saying? Do my work. But I got got into some trouble with Anna, stopped coming to school, you know what I'm saying? Like a dropout type, type dropped out of school, right, yeah, right. I dropped you, out I of school. You. Went out of school out of Virginia, because I was on probation at the time. Went out of school out of Virginia. They was they uh, put me in there and rolled me into school, a little, little uh, alternative school. Right. So... I got my education there. I didn't graduate from there, as you know, but I like that high school set. And I was, I ain't really go through too much. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, more Anna, late. Oh, oh, at VA. You no, know, and I was, I ain't go through too much at Anna and Eve. I ain't really had no problem with nobody. Nobody right. was really on me. I wasn't on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I was more to myself. Self, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm always like that. Even to this day, I'm to myself. Yeah. So I don't really. I can't really call it. All my problems was happening in junior high school, elementary school. So what what uh, advice would you give a young man that, that's going through some situations? Like, cause it, it seemed like to me that you, you had to, like, most youngins that went through the stuff, you know what I'm saying, that I went through, they would have gave up. You know what I'm saying? And it seemed like you had a chance to give up, but you did, you chose not to. And yeah, I, I did. Even, I had two chances to give up. And you ain't even give up. Yeah, you kept going. You ain't even there. You you probably I can probably dropped out about a year, yeah, probably some months. But I ain't give but up. But you ain't there, and I can look at it in your face that you that you just realized to yourself that you was like, dang, I could have gave up. Yeah. But you you just realized it just hit you now. You was like, man, I could have gave up a long time ago, but mm. you didn't. You kept, and that's the that's the thing. That's the whole key about it. Like I tell some of these, like I tell old people, they don't believe that. When you that young, we don't go through. They think we just don't go through nothing. And if I like, I, I know your mother know everything. Cause my mother used to know stuff, and I ain't even, I ain't tell her. And then probably my sister tell her, cause I told my sister, I told my sister a lot. But if I sit down and really told my mother every little thing that I went through through high school, 
and stuff like that. See, well, fe well, females, ladies, is different. They can tell their mother and stuff. But boys, you feel as though, especially you don't have that father figure, you feel as though you the man. You the man. I can't. I ain't trying to see no hurt on my mother, so I'm going to hold this in. So, but man, I just want to commend you on that, man, for not yeah. giving up. Because you could have gave, because I know a lot of, I know a lot of my, I know a lot of dudes that I started in Susan with, ninth grade, that gave up. You know what I'm saying? They gave up. And they, and they ain't even trying to go back and do nothing. And the fact that you ain't give up, that's that's big time, man. That's big yeah. time. That's big time. Because you could have you threw in the towel and said, it's a wrap. I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and... Trust me. It crossed my mind. But I yeah. I wasn't going to go that man, way. Can't nobody... If if, ever, if anybody can say they it never crossed their mind that they give it all up and throw in the towel, they'd be, they be lying. Yeah. <laughs> they, be, they be lying. <clears throat> they be lying if they say they didn't... They didn't... They didn't... One, cause I didn't, I didn't try to like, man. You know what? This ain't, this ain't for me. Are you talking about as far as school or as far as life? I mean, life situations, life situation, period. Oh, okay. I mean, my, my thing is like, ain't, ain't they won't give it up in school. Oh, uh, uh, now see, yeah, see, you like not school with me. My situation with school, I was like, I got, I learned how probably by 11, 12, 11, 12 grade teachers how to work with my teachers. I sat in the front. I cracked jokes with them and did whatever I could, and they looked out. They looked out for me. And if I would have learned, if I would have learned probably how to do that later on in, in my life, I mean, earlier in my life, I probably would have had better situations and situations in uh, grades or whatever. But so, uh, so Fred, let me ask you. So yeah, let me listen. What is um? Like tell me some of your, your 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 like your raps ideas or what you what you got working on with your <laughs> rap now. Like like what you what you considered like you 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 said you like to write so yeah. so you write all your you write all your songs and you write the not hook. all of them I write all hooks though you write all the hooks I like the freestyle too you like the freestyle yeah so too. what so what's going on with the like what's going on with the uh well, do you have a church home I'm gonna ask you that question do you no. have a church home. Mm -mm. You got a church home, so Fred, we got to find Fred a church home, so you know, you already know what I'm going to say, Fred. The best church in the land is 5354 Cathedral of Christ, so right. sure Road, you know what I'm saying, Chapel, Chapel Oaks, Maryland. We got service tomorrow, watch night, so if anybody that listening, we got watch, watch night service tomorrow, Pastor David J. Venable, 5354, sure Road. Back on here, Gospel the Man. We just had a song called New Drink dropped by uh Gossip Mellow called, called Cry Out. But this ain't on the screen. We we just getting we getting everything together. So we had uh we had a new uh single right there called Cry Out by uh my main man Gospel Mellow in here. So tell Gossip Mellow, tell us more about uh the song Cry Out. I mean it was a nice song. I like it. I was in here in tears and everything and wiping my face. <laughs> but yeah, I like I, li I like the song, the concept of it. So tell us, tell us more about it. Like I said, um, it came to me in a dream, and I just woke up and I was just like, cry out, cry out, cry out. That's the only thing that came to me in the dream. So I'm like, damn, I need to write a song about cry out. Right. And I mean, so I went, I searched for a beat. Um. <laughs> yeah, we have a water break. We have to search for, we had to search for a beat. I know I can. Yeah, I just searched for a beat, and I knew we had to say, "It's okay to cry out." That's all I wanted to it's say. Okay. So I kind of, I just put it all together, I, I, okay. like I normally do, work my magic. And yeah, I, I like and, and you saying that. I think we need to play magic too. I like the song oh, magic. magic. I, I like the magic. We get we get into that a little uh, a little bit later. So what the uh, Fred? What did you think about the uh, about the show? I thought oh the show. I mean about the uh, about the uh, not the show. My bad. The song. What you what you think about the song? Yeah, I think the song was a brilliant idea. Right. I liked it. I liked it a lot. 
I caught I caught the uh, singing part of it too. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, my man had the TV oh, and stuff yeah, going on. See, I saw yeah. it, I saw they had a gospel artist on the song. Yeah, why you ain't call me? No, I'm, I'm talking about a singer. The sing that part. I could But some something yeah. happened. I don't want to get into that. I, I and like, I had to end up singing the part myself. I could have been like, sound cry good out. though. It sound good. So I then, I, like, then I played it. Cry out. Cry so out. I let my sister listen to it first, like I try normally do. And she said, oh, I I can't. I like give it to uh, to T Pain. I said, you do? She like, yeah, yeah I like T Pain. Like everybody got to get a T Pain. So she said, well. He's she likes well, if future can do it, you can do it. I said, Oh, sure. Right, my thing is <laughs> and she said it was a it's a good time for it and just release it with me on the hook and me on the whole song. So I'm gonna uh but it's not finished, it's not mastered or anything like that. So I have to go back oh, and yeah, so we just gave like, yeah, we just gave y'all the rough, uncut, yeah, edited yeah. version. Yeah. So y'all heard it first on gospel going to man, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got yeah, yeah. So look, yeah, we got we got everything. Right? Yeah, we got everything in here. So yeah. So man, I like the drum, man, but I've been trying to get on the track, man. He ain't trying to let me get on the track, y'all. So we're gonna have to do something, because I need to get on the track something. I need to get a yell, what's up, old, you know what I'm saying? Hallelujah, amen on the track, something. I'm trying to get something on the track. Man, what's up with the gospel go go band? Yeah. Man, and I was just talking about that, um, my man Rick, you know what I'm saying, we were talking about that yesterday because I was telling him how at that point in time when I was in the gospel, we had my own, went to go go when I had my own band, I wasn't nobody touching me. I was just like, you know what, what I'm saying? What was your band name? Uh, Undecided. Uh. Band name Undecided. We had a couple of little bangers out there. I ain't really know. And see, you ever, I look back at now because I used to pray so hard for my band to work, but it did never come through. And now I look back and see why it didn't ever. Shout out to my man, uh, Uncle D. Y'all know who he is too. He, uh, he was helping me out with the band too, but he ain't pushed me like he's supposed to do, but by the grace of God, he did. But so but I'ma get the uh, I thought about it because I still got the passion for go go. Yeah. And I know I can still do you it. You got the passion for rappers. Yeah, so I mean, I will shoot up with the band we have we done now, we got three I mean, rappers. I've been searching all year for like a I was trying even form a go band. Oh gospel see, band see, or, see that's how God see, that's how God works. My I was just telling my man, look, I don't I can't with me, yeah. Oh yeah, for everybody out there, I'm I'm finally after three years of hard work and labor and serving the Lord. I've been serving the Lord for a long time, and I ain't tired yet. You see yourself in the camera. Yeah. I've so, been serving the Lord for a long time, and I ain't tired yet. So, with that being said, I will be becoming a licensed preacher. Oh, y'all can hear myself a little bit better now. I'm yeah. becoming a uh, I'm becoming a licensed. Preacher on February 19th. Oh, yeah? Yeah, on Tuesday at, again, the best church in the land, 53, 54, Cathedral of Christ, Baptist Church. <laughs> Baptist Church. Yeah, we Baptist with uh, Pastor David J. Venabel and Overseer <laughs> Pastor Cage. So, yeah, come through, uh, come through February 9th. February nineteenth, man. I'm getting, I'm getting licensed as to be a licensed preacher on there. So I'm taking God is taking me to another level. So you know when you gotta go to another level, some some old things gotta every level. That's why I believe every uh, level you go that God take you to, some old things gotta pass off and they gotta fall off you. The higher you go, the higher things gotta fall off you. That's just how I think. The higher, the higher He raised me, the higher my my the higher my standards gotta be. So. And with that being said, I got a lot of work. I got a lot of work to do from here into February nineteenth. So I hope everybody can come out and join join me with that. Help me celebrate my next level in Christ. Yeah. So, yeah. But with the whole get back to the whole gospel, go go back. I think and I and that's another topic we're gonna talk about. What is your what is your um. What is your outlook on the gospel? Have you heard any gospel go-go bands out now? Or? I have I heard a couple on YouTube. Like, what about you? What about you? Um, I know one. Fred from 40, 40 Street. 40, 40, 40. <laughs> so you, heard, you ain't heard none of them? I heard, no, I ain't hear no songs or nothing. I just heard about one. But what band is that? I have no, uh... <laughs> I think when I first when I first when I first changed my life over from the go go to the game like my that was my whole invention. I was like I'm gonna get me a gospel go go band because I still got the passion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I still can do it. And I you know what I'm saying God give gifts without repentance. I ain't lose the gift. And so I was like 
I was like, I'm gonna do it. So if we got any keyboard players out there looking to roll time, play drums and everything. We, me and Melo and, and uh, my man Forty, Forty Fred. That's what I'm calling him from now on. Forty, 40 Fred. Forty Fred. Forty Fred. I just gave him a new nickname <laughs> on the spot. Forty Fred all day, every day. He been at church and bar. I ain't nothing. Bring this New Year's yeah. in. Forty Fred. 2013. 2013, ladies, 40 Fred. I'm back. He back, 40 Fred the right way. <laughs> so yeah, so, but I was like, um, I can, I, I want to put a band like my whole image because I, I went to a couple of gospel shows because one thing about me when I want to do something, I'm gonna study my craft first. Yeah. So I, I ain't just gonna jump in there and be done. So I went to a couple of gospel go shows and I ain't hear no gospel in the go go. But I was at a gospel go go. How you doing? You ain't hear no gospel. No God, I'm telling you, I know God. It sounded just like <laughs> a regular go go band. Just wasn't no cursing. That was the only thing. So I'm like, I'm sitting. I'm hold sitting. On, hold on. What so what was they saying? I mean, they they gospel, didn't know words. What was God, they saying? No, no, it was like they they were no. taking regular songs. They were taking regular songs, Still. radio songs, secular songs, and then just. Just instead of saying a cuss word, they might put something in there. That's not and, gospel. And then you you understand. I felt so. I'm in the back. I'm in, I'm in like this. So I'm in the back. I'm sitting there chilling. And I'm like, so one band come up, and I watch like three bands. The next band come up, and all they did is job, job. I'm like, where the gospel? And my thing is, like I listen to the Cray, listen to all that. It's too many gospel songs out here that can be transformed into what gospel beats behind that will crank. Yeah. So and so my whole that was my whole ambition. I was like, man, I'm ready. I'm gonna show them how you really do gospel go go. Cause I said I would. That's do, a good idea though. And my thing, cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't do. And this is my thing. Some some radio songs I may change up, but other than that, I wouldn't try to touch a radio song except for like if it's one, if it's one joint that like say the kids like that's high right there. I flip, I flip a whole, I flip a whole song around. Yeah, but with me, I probably have so much on. Um, yeah, material. Like, so, yeah. like, like, so, like, I got, I got to, I got so many ideas. Like, I, I can listen to a gospel song, a regular gospel song, and be like, oh man, dun, dun, dun. I could put a bounce behind that and get done, done, like the Imagine me being free, loving you, trusting me. Curve Franklin drink. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Curve Franklin. I can do that all day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can do that all day. I don't have to. I don't have to take. I don't have to take the. Uh, hey. take, I don't have to take the. Uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but it's funny how you say that. I have a, a gospel beat that I own. I actually did another song to it, but I was. Thinking all week of how to transform it. Oh, so you, oh, so, you trying to put me on the spot? Nah, hey, we trying to do something like that. You gonna put it put the, on the spot? Put the beat oh, on. All right, put the beat put on. Put the beat on. Put the beat if, on. If it's possible with the engineer that we could play the song and rap at the same time with people hearing me. Put the yeah. beat on. Hold put on. the beat on. Put the beat on. I'm gonna see what that, I'm gonna see if I might be rusty. Yeah. I might be rusty. You might be rusty. I might be rusty. I ain't been, yeah, I ain't been, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we just going vibe, man. We gonna vibe, yeah. so we gonna vibe. Vibe. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You, you need to calm down, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my bad 40. That's my bad 40. Fred, for 40 and speak. Hold on. Uh. It's like, nah, for me, calm down. Man, for you good, man. Nah, you enjoy, you enjoy, you enjoy yourself, man. That's yeah. the thing is, like, you can't. See, people think when, people think you can't love God and still have fun and be flat. Do I mean, do, do, I mean, can y'all see me out there? Yeah, you got gospel beat to it. I mean, you got a gospel beat to it. Yeah, let's go now. It's gonna come in, it's gonna drop in. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna come in. Yeah. See, I'll be, I'll be, I'll do something like this. I'll be like, yeah. I, I need everybody to uh, lift their hands up right now. We're gonna get into this to the into this movement. Anybody who love God? Hey, let's go. Yeah. I might still well, I might still got it, dog. Yeah. I might still got it. I told y'all I want to be poor. I'm doing hard for God. I might I might I might still I might get I'm 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 gonna get I'm gonna get it. Uh I'm getting heavy. Hey, hello, hello, hey, give him some of the road. Oh, Lord, can't hear my mic. Oh, baby, can't hear my mic. Can't hear the mic. You must be up. Oh, Lord. You got to put your head on. No, I can't hear my mic. I can't hear my mic. I can't hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can hear myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Even with the beat all the way down, your ears. I can hear you. 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 I can
<laughs> we had no yeah, I can hear you too. You just got to go out the you got to go out the top of the you have to go, man. You have to go and see. See man, he messing up my he messing up my he messing up my flow. Turn it up a little bit. Turn this mic up. Turn it too. Turn it too. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, that's yeah. Used to be back in the day. I was like, too good. Get my keyboards up. Get my keyboards up. This straight off the top of the dome, right? Got the pad. Y'all about to get a live inside school, but we about to do something. This is how we do it. This is the new, this is the generation. This is the generation, the next generation. Yeah. yeah. It's the gospel movement. Gospel Let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. I can walk around uh, 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 Man, you better wake up. Wake up. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. My man's gone. My man's 40 free. But God, that, that drum was like, that drum was like, that drum was like, you get, you get some water time. This ain't be hard, though. This ain't be hard. That's a straight drive drink. It's a straight, that's a straight breakdown beat. It ain't no doubt. It's a straight breakdown beat. It don't bounce. Nah, it's straight. It's straight. That's how it is. That's the back out. They call me Gossarello. It's pretty good news. Good thing you can't see my heart is blue. I could walk around saying that feeling blue, but there's not something these is wood. Yeah, so nah. I move on. Yes, I keep my head up. Why I fell down when the best things are up? Don't uh -uh. quit. Never, ever should you give up. Don't sleep on God. Yeah, you better wake up. If you love now. God, let me throw your hands up. Let throw your hands up. Go hard for God. If you love your God, throw your hands up. I love you. We going hard for God. I said you love Jesus Christ. I throw your hands up. I throw your hands up. We going hard for God. I said you love Jesus Christ. I throw your hands up. Let's throw them up. Let's throw them up. Let's work. Forty, forty. The God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. One way up to heaven. Jesus Christ, heaven. Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, cut it off. We got my bitch. See, see, this is how you do it. That's how you do it. You just cut it off like that. That's how you do it, man. Can you hear me? Can you hear me out there? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Nah, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you guys. Oh, can you get us in the air? I hear it now. That's how you do it. That's what it's all about, man. You got, you got, you got to... And I don't even like like people always come in and say, "Oh, you're a church boy." Nah, I'm not no church boy. I'm just a man of God. I'm just doing out here doing what God asked me to do, and listening to God, being obedient, and serving, serving the Lord the way He want me, the way He want me to do. And you get somebody for like my man, forty free, come straight off the streets. Yeah, no, for the trap, no ladder, the church, no ladder, no ladder, no ladder. No to that. the church. That's what, man. That's what we need to. We need to straight, straight from the streets to the church. Just man. by playing go go. Just by playing, getting to be. See, see, people don't know how in go go. It's so much way, so much things you can do through music, man. Yeah, that's it's why so much, Christian rap. It's so much things with you can do. With the hip hop beats. It's so like, much things you can do through music, man. It's so much. It's so much things you can do through a man, and it's like you get somebody come straight, come straight on the streets. <laughs> go Jesus, go Jesus. First, he, oh, first off at forty, go. and he called himself forty. Forty, so, ah, that, 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 Jesus, he switched up. Yeah, he got forty, like man, you know what? They don't even sound right. Get the Jesus. They even sound right. He ain't even feel yeah. right saying that. That's what I'm talking about, man. See that we on here, man. We having fun, man. This is this what you this what you do, man. How much time we got? What, like ten man, minutes left. Nah, we got about four. Four man, we got four minutes left. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we man, we on we on we on a on a wrap up, man. I enjoyed myself, man. Hopefully, he had me back again one of these days. We come oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed. I'm I'm, I'm I'm uh recreating the whole gospel on the man radio show. We'll have another special host that's gonna be you know hosting. I'm gonna kind of like slide back. I'm not gonna play behind the scenes. I'm still gonna be in the field. 
But we gonna have a new quarterback. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have fun now. I'm about to just go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, probably take a nizap and get ready for this Cowboys game, get ready for the Cowboys to do their thing. I don't want to see the game. Oh, you know, I, I do, because I know the Redskins going to win, though. Oh, oh my see, God. See, see, see. I know the Redskins going to win. See, see, see. man, 43. He was all right until he just said that, man. But he just said he was. Redskins going to win. He just said that, but He just said that, but He just said that, but it's. It's all good. I'm sorry, man. I don't like the Cowboys. You gotta respect I'm the sorry, star. I ain't like them on Thanksgiving. <laughs> you gotta respect the star. They owe me. A, they owe me a TV. I broke my TV messing around with them. You gotta respect the star. That's three, all I'm gonna say. Three man. to twenty. Yeah, so I like I said, God. man, if y'all ain't doing nothing tomorrow, 53, come, come through 53, 54 Cathedral of Christ. We having watch night service ten o'clock. Hey. We be out of there by twelve. We with my man Forty Fred is going to be there. Fifty. Three, so I'll be there. Fifty-four, so, ten o'clock. We will open the door. Cathedral and Christ at twelve. <laughs> Pastor David J. Venable. David J. Venable. The Go Venable. <laughs> it's your birthday. Over here, over here, Calvin. Pastor Calvin K. So we're gonna be in there tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be in there. So I'm being there like swimwear because I am. Hey, shout out to True Life Redemption Ministry. Oh, oh my God, True Life. That's where it all started. True life. I didn't cook. I didn't go back there one Sunday. True life is where it all started. That's the first. Hey, look, y'all. That's the first time I cut. I boy, I cut loose. And and, and true life. I had to tear the church church up. True life. I ain't really get my feet wet at the cathedral yet. Mm-hmm. I gotta get. I gotta break the carpet in. But over true life. Oh, I guess. I guess it in. So yeah, y'all want to come see me dance and get my party on tomorrow? Come through there because we gonna be able to have a good old time. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, uh, yeah, I think Elder Luke said he gonna be in the building anyway tomorrow. Elder Luke gonna be in there. That's the pastor of True Life. With the well, my, my first church on. My it wasn't my first, but that still was the best church. <laughs> and tomorrow will be my first uh, <laughs> first Watch time. Yep, going to do yep. It's a first time for everything. Yeah, it's the first time. Just like we bought the win. Tonight. So the stone cold said so. So this is Kevin the Prince man. I'm signing off, man. Blah Kevin blah 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 blah. Maybe y'all, can me, y'all can hit me on Twitter at Mr. Prince. If you want some words of encouragement, I I mean I tweet tweet my life. Uh I'm at uh Kevin the Prince for a reason on Facebook. You can hit me on there. Or uh, if you don't like church and don't like to talk about God, then I advise you not to log in on my page, because that's all I talk about. That my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who picked me up, turned me around, and placed my feet on solid ground. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, man, it's a lot of good things coming up in this 2013. I'm expecting big things from, from the Lord. And if he did it before, he can do it again. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. Yep. So, I ain't no different from y'all, man. I was in the same situation. But I just thought, the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. I was one of them. I was one of them ones that chose to accept the call. And then we gonna, next is going to be my man, 40 Fred. Well, Fred had a church home. What was the last church you went to? Oh man, he was just going. That's like wait, 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 you know what they call? I'm like, I'm like uh, the Drew Rosen house of uh, churches. I'm, 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 I'm sports agent. I get everybody in Cathedral of Christ because we got good word up in there. We gonna have fun. You ain't, we ain't, you ain't got it. Ain't all that uh, bougie stuff in there. We gonna have fun. We gonna laugh. We gonna joke. We gonna play, and we gonna get out of there. We got eight o'clock service. We got ten o'clock service. If you can't get up early, and you we got twelve o'clock. If you can't get up in there, and we ain't there for two hours, we in there out. You gonna get good word, and we about it. You gonna have fun. You gonna get loved on. That's how we do. Hey, check out the website GodRadioShow dot com. That's G O D R A D I O S H O W dot com. God for Radio Show. That's right. And uh, CathedralChrist dot org. I think CathedralChrist dot org. That's right. Yeah. Signing off. We getting off. I enjoyed my time with DJ right. Mello. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't even getting my gun going. You playing a song?